Hello and welcome to a new episode of Paul's Model Train Stuff. Uh, today I got a new delivery, a Dutch Railways uh, 1200 series. Now, I already tested this out and um, it's not doing anything. I got my controls here to the left, outside the screen, put power on the track, nothing. If I put anything else on it, you can see, nope, nothing here. Also, it's missing one of the springs, this side, this is complete. So what I'm going to do is um, opening it up and see what is wrong with it. I just take a tiny screwdriver and move this up and insert it in there like that. And then on the other side I can just use my hands, most likely my nails to get underneath it. And there we go. Alright, so this is a another one of those old um, Lima models from the uh, from the 70s, 80s. Uh, actually, I haven't figured out if, not, if it's Lima or Lima, or but I'm just going to call it Lima because they're Italian and that sounds somewhat Italian. The wiring seems fine. Um, but I can immediately already see uh, one of the springs of the brushes is missing. I think the brush is still in there inside here. It looks like it. It's definitely something in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart, check if that's actually a brush inside. Um, see if it needs any cleaning. Uh, get a spring, attach it to to that brush. Get a spring for the for this one here, and um, then we're good to go. So again, with these old limas, I usually start by taking out, taking off this bottom side here. That should. Free the whole motor block. Go, that's one keeping them apart, of course. I don't want to lose any screws. And although you rarely see me lose screws in the videos, I do lose screws a lot. There should actually be a few on the floor right now. I haven't found them yet. So taking that one off and then I can just lift the engine out like that. And also unclip this. There we go. Put that aside. Don't want to get have that damaged. Right. By just moving it around I can feel that it's still okay moving okay so that's good it's not blocked by anything it's not rusty or anything like that take the plate off and oh before i do that i am first gonna lift this and get the remaining spring and brush out and that brush is actually okay now to get the cover off the front plate and it reveals a very very dirty motor and the missing the, the other brush. Just get this out. Here we go. And again, 
putting this into my favorite solution, the IPA. And someone has been using grease in this engine because it's it just looks awfully greasy. It's uh, not looking nice. Now, maybe I can try to get this magnet out like that from the bottom. But I think this wheel is going to prevent it from... Yeah. In that case... Let's see if I can push it out from the top. And then getting it underneath, out. Oh, this is going to be hard. I don't want to break anything here, but I want to push that forward. And then... No, that's not going to work. That's... There's no way I can get this. Ah, oh, look. I can move it sidewards a bit. Is that enough? No. Okay, then I'm just going to clean it in place. Again, got these swaps here. Get some IPA on them and just start getting all that grease out. And there we go. That's already becoming quite dirty. Let it dissolve it for a minute there. itself I think I can just I don't know if you can see it but it was really black and now it's all shiny again and again check to see that these little grooves here are clear so you don't get any short circuits between the, the plates now they're fine I'm going to get my trusted toothbrush to give it a good rinse. I'm going to quickly clean it with a dry cloth here. So that looks good. I'm going to let it dry there for a minute. Most of the grease out. Not perfect, but a lot better. Now on the other side, I am looking at the wheels. I think I'm going to take a quick peek here. They are greased, very greasy. So just drop them in here again, and uh, giving the uh, the plate here a quick wipe. Just get all the black stuff out and all the hairs. Oh God, that's a lot of hairs in here. Yuck. This is already taking longer than I was hoping. But then again, I hope it will run nicely when I'm done with it. I think I saw a lot of hairs at the wheels as well. So while that is still soaking, I'm just 
let's see how I can get any of this. Yeah, that's a lot of a lot of stuff coming off right away. And a lot of hairs again. Okay. I, I do think the, the previous owner tried to maintain this uh, locomotive quite well. Usually if I get second hand locomotives they're all completely dried out. There's nothing nothing of, of any oil or grease in them. It's just the just total completely dry and uh, that makes them run awfully. So I'm just gonna get this a quick quick rinse. I'm also gonna check if these have these if these these molding points on them. Yes, they do. So I'll also be taking care of that. Mm. Well, they are not as bad as with um, other other motors I've had my hands on. This is actually still dirty. Get, get that out. No, no, oh, here, here's the one. Get now. Can stick a little dot there. Get that off right. That's one. Here's another one. Get that off. That's better. Now putting the thing back together. First gonna oh first gonna pick the get the big ones in there. These are a lot easier than the very small ones on the other the other engine I did the uh, the other week. Next are these. Go putting this back on there like that. Is it in place? Yeah, it's in place. That one back in there. Getting the plate back on. Getting the correct screws. Uh, I think it was these. I'll have to look back on the camera if I wanted to be want to know for sure. Let's just feel if this no that does not feel better. I hope this is not going to be like another 40 minute video, um, if it is I'm going to, go, going to cut some parts out. I don't want to bother anyone with uh, my rambling for 40 minutes, that's not going to be fun. So I got the original brush, just again getting the dirt off. In for the other other one I have here, I need a um, I need a little spring, so I'm just gonna grab that here. That's ooh, that's a little spring for a brush. I hope it fits. Yes, it does. Indeed, it does fit. Great. No. Trying to get it, uh, get it in here. Okay. 
Oh no, I'm not losing it. I don't want to lose the spring. There we go. And again, gently pushing down these copper plates. Right. That should work. Putting this into place. Pulling up that pin here. And the clip on. Come on, come on, come on. Get in here. Am I lucky? I am lucky. That sounds like there's movement in here. <laughs> Putting it all together again. I am going to oil this, um, but I won't do that on video. Uh, if you want to know how to apply oil, I put a video on how to repair a, a, a on how to clean a full engine. Um, put that on a few weeks ago, or last week I think, and that will demonstrate all that part, uh, where to put oil, or why not to use oil while I am still using oil and uh, how to make it run smoothly but this is just about this one locomotive I wanted to get up and running so, there we go there we go getting the weight in Easier said than done. That's it. Yeah, it needs some oiling. But that's gonna be okay. Now, this one I'm gonna get a spring to fix that. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of one of, of, of these, these stains on here. And I'll uh, post the pictures uh, once this is uh, all up and running again. So, thanks for uh, for watching, and uh, hope to see you next time. So I was going to show you the finished locomotive. Um, I cleaned it; it looks nice. But just I was uh, uh, when I was trying to get this spring on, and I was getting this last bit last little pin in here the spring just let go of one side took off never to be seen again so i gotta get some spring somewhere because that was my last one and uh, apart from that i uh, greased it up and uh, it runs smoother now smooth enough for me I did notice that there's one buffer missing. Uh, um, hope hope I get uh, I'm able to find one of those. Uh, and if that if I got that and the two springs, it's uh, it is complete again. like a lima should sound thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time